Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States and my chair is really squeaky, sorry. So, um, I've been having a great time. I put supplies in envelopes in my paper pumpkin box and I've had a great time. I can tell you how much fun I've had. Uh, I did this like over a week ago and I've had a great time pulling them out and seeing what I can come up with. So we're going to do it again. I mean, um, if you're tired of seeing me do this type of thing, uh, let me know. But for the moment, I'm having a great time doing it. And this is my passion, my joy. So let's see what we can come up with again. And uh, let's see. I know I have one more in here or I have a couple more envelopes. I'm going to pull this one out. Oh, no, I'm going to pull this one out. <laughs> So, this was the July's Sending Good Thoughts Paper Pumpkin. I love these things. I love what you can create. And I did, I had a refill kit because I went to a paper pumpkin um, at my upline, Miss Gina Tudela's class. Great time. We made all these cards. We did a few changes. Um, so, I did create these, but just not on video. So, let's see what we have in this envelope and I am using the envelopes I have cut some up but for a lot of these cards um I am not so and I am three card supplies short in this kit just because of some stuff that happened so this is light enough that you can write in it so I'm not going to line it in white this is either smoky slate or gray I think it's gray it's gray granite so that is my card base I cut one of the card bases up that was Bermuda Bay. You can see because it's white on the other side. We're going to trim that down. And we're going to trim this one down. Um, you know what? I think I might cut this one in half. Or cut partial of this off. We need to do something different. This is very similar to a card I already did. The supplies. This was actually done at my paper pumpkin class at my uplines. We already stamped it. So we're going to keep that in there and let's see bring in maybe some hmm maybe what i should do is bring in a card base because i don't have any oh i do i'm like do i have any fresh freesia quarter sheets and i do so let me bring one or two let me bring what i have i have this piece okay i have an idea Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to move those supplies up and out of my way. And I'm going to cut this. We're going to trim this down a bit to fit on our card base. So I'm going to bring in the guillotine. And I'm going to cut this to four by five and a quarter. So there's four. And this is five and a quarter. Okay. Now, I might use these in a minute, but this is going to be on here, like so. But I want to tie in this Fresh Freesia ring that's on there. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cut this piece out. And I'm going to use the guillotine to do so. So I'm going to cut right there now then I'm also going to cut this down to four so I'm going to take a really I think it's already there there maybe I'm going to I'm going to cut it down to yeah I'm going to cut it down to three and three quarters this piece here so a little off that side an eighth of an inch off each end there because I'm going to back it see how this we need to trim that down too no we don't I don't need to be that crazy about it so I'm gonna have this one at the bottom I think and I have this bit of one which I think I might have to cut more nope that's what we're gonna do we are gonna bring that in yes so let me see this is four oh, this sheet is at four right 
So I'm going to bring this into three and three quarters and see if it goes to five. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to come down a bit more. So let's see where it does go to this because this is just a scrap. So four and three quarters is where this is at. Let me move my plate up, make sure it's straight. Yes, four and three quarters. So this is going to need to be at three and a half to give me a nice border in there and then if that's at three and a half this piece here needs to be at three and three quarters so I'm gonna have to take a quarter inch off or more of each end so let's start with that Cause that's at three and a half so now I'm gonna come in again and bring some more off of the edge way it's getting pretty <laughs> small I keep trimming the edges off of this thing okay all of that just for this so that is gonna now sit in there and now I can definitely trim that off that is just too awkward uh, that looks good so this piece now is at two and a quarter by three and a quarter eh, if I could get it off the guillotine and I've got all these little splinters of stuff let's bring in the piece I just cut and we'll get a look at what we are doing here so there All right, let's layer this up and it's going to bring in that little bit of fresh freesia on our coral. I wonder, why don't we turn this card? No, I can't turn the card after I did all the cutting to make it go this way. Okay, just not thinking out. Let's see, I'm trying to think if I tuck some of that coral in. Oh, I like that. I want the bottle on the left side. Don't know why I want it on the left side. I do, but maybe it would be better. Because I kind of, oof, I kind of like it at that angle. Wishing you all the best could be over there. I could make the bottle go. No, but I do want the bottle kind of at that angle. And I'm just, just placing things roughly where I want them. And I really like this. And um, yeah, I actually really do. So we're going to do some um, stamping on our bottle though. So let's take those pieces off and we can glue all these pieces down. Okay. I'm going to use that large bottle of Tombow. And as I'm gluing, I'm trying to think of what kind of a sentiment, saying, what, however you want to call it, do I want in on my card? I'm just trying to... I, I'm kind of, to honest with you, I'm kind of wore out with the ones in the kit. <laughs> um... The can't wait to see you is great. I just, it's not, I like it that it's different, but it's not what I'd be seeing, uh, be mailing out to relatives or anything. Cause I don't travel like that. And, uh, to be honest with you, my, uh, sisters aren't the best. They treated me horribly when my mother died. I know they were going through their own things, but it's kind of uh, separated us. It's very sad. But, um, so I just send them a card every now and then. Sad when for over seven years we traveled and met up with each other and, you know, came together. But no more. Ooh, I have these little pieces. I'm not sure what to do with that. 
if anything at all, I could stick it just down here for some color on the bottom. I kind of almost like that down there. Yeah, maybe we will. That's just a scrap piece that was laying on my desk. Okay, we're going to stamp. I'm going to clear off the icky glue stuff that gets on this. All right, let's stop, stop, stop. And it's going to be very similar to the other bottles you see me do. Um, oh, I kind of like this splash from the, I call it a splash, color and contour. Um, this splotchy, splotchy, I call it. It looks like a splash, a sea splash to me. Um, what is on wishing you all the best? Um, we could do the, you are, you're absolutely amazing. Happy birthday then would look really cool with that. So maybe that's what we'll do, but let's find the colors we're going to stomp with in our stamp from our paper pumpkin. What are we going to do? So we're going to bring in, of course, the seaweed. We need some of that. Bring in some blocks. We already got the ship. We're not using the ship. We're going to bring the starfish in. And our little seahorse here needs to be in a wee little block. All right. Is that all we want to do? You know what I do have to? I have this little bit of coral. This is from, because it kind of had us that sea theme from June 2019 paper pumpkin before I st stored my stamps another way. Let's add this little bit of coral in that poppy. Oh, there is no poppy parade. Oh, we'll add it in there with something. So let's get the stamp in here. All righty. Bottle disappeared. It apparently doesn't want all this stuff on it. <laughs> Come on. Yikes. Where did it go? You got to be kidding me. I've lost the the main focal point of this card is now there it is. It got stuck. Come back to me. So let's get this stamped up some. Okay, we're gonna go dark for me to bay full strength. Go up a little bit in light, and we're gonna bring it um maybe right there. And just kind of like that and we're done with that we're gonna do Pacific points you can hear me moving stuff to find the Pacific point pad I want to add this splash and I like it stamped off so we're gonna add some here and there could be bubbles it's just fun I really like it okay too much fun just having a a play um we are gonna bring in we're gonna do our coral in fresh freesia and this one like I said is from the 2019 paper pumpkin from June so we're gonna have that little bit of coral there Walk it up a bit. Have some there. Yeah. Let's add a little bit more up here. Really get that corally. Ooh, that looks so good. Okay. And our seahorse needs to be gray this time. Um, because that's what it is on our sentiment. But I'm going to bring in pale papaya for the starfish. I like that pale look of them and we're going to do some starfish up here right there and one right there so like I said that's pale papaya just give it a little bit more and do we want gray granite or basic gray we'll have to stamp our little seahorse and see what we like really dark okay 
Mm, what to do, what to do. I could do him an early espresso. Oh, um, gray granite. Let's try gray granite first. That basic gray is just a little too dark. So it's, I don't know if you guys can see, but down here, it's a, I like this. So we're going to use gray granite. So we're going to stamp the seahorse there. We're going to stamp one right here and one here. And I am doing them at a little bit of an angle. And that's good for me. And we already got the sentiment stamped. We're going to keep out the basic gray for the inside of our card. And I might as well keep them all out. Let's do our envelope while we're stamping. If I can find find the envelope is the trick. Come on. Okay, let's stamp our envelope. We're going to make a little water scene here and I'm going to try to do it sideways. I know I didn't put any of the blocks away. I just need to find the right ones. So we're going to make our little, oh, let's do it in the left hand. I never do it in the left hand, hardly ever, but I did on the last video. There we go. So we got, well, we're going to do some down here too. Just why not. There we go little bit of a water scene going on. Pacific Point, we covered up, but we're going to bring it back in. It could be bubbles. It could be anything you want it to be. I'm just... We're going to add them all over the bottom just because it's fun. <laughs> terrible when you like doing something so much you're like what can I do with this I'm gonna have to play around with that stamp just because pale papaya I closed up but we're gonna open it up again real quick get some starfish on our card here envelope there's some there's some there over here Stacking those blocks up over there. Now for the coral in fresh freesia. So what I love about paper pumpkin, and you can find yourself bringing in some of your old paper pumpkin stamps. There we go. And our seahorse. Let me close up for me to bay. I've already used it. Eh. Um, our seahorse was in gray granite. So we're going to stamp one right here and one over there. And all of my blocks are done now. And I just need oh, let's close these up because I think we're using Bermuda Bay for our sentiment since that is what we stamped this one in is in Bermuda Bay so we're going to keep with that for the inside of our card so our envelope is done now I'm going to set that to the right hopefully I don't lose it and let's start assembling our card some more so I want do we want this I really like this coral that looks good. And this was half of a piece of the coral. So I kind of thought we'd put it there and have that. I love the coral. Okay, we might have to change up. We might just have it. Why not? Why don't we just do that? It's a little different. Okay, that's how it's going to lay out. I can always, you know, change my mind. It's easy. When I create a card, sometimes it just falls into place. We're going to do this uh, quite flat. 
Trying to keep it all in. I'm going to bring that all the way to the bottom and our coral here. Using this larger bottle of glue, this large bottle of Tombow and not the stuff I squirt into my little bottles, it uh, gets a little tricky. I want that all the way down. Oops, going to have to bring that in some. Because it's got to stay on the car, you know. Okay, there we go. Let's put some Wink Estella on. Let's see. I'm going to add some, just highlighting some bits of the coral. Not all over all of it, just some of it on the seaweed. And right up here on the cork, maybe down there on the glass, we'll do a little bit around the edge of the glass. And definitely got to bring some sparkle in here. So where are my basic jeweled rhinestones? And my handy dandy little needle, which is gone missing there it is okay so we're gonna add some little kind of like that one right there just because it looked like a good place we're gonna add one down here little pearls would be cute on this as it is a sea themed but I am I'm going to stick one right in the center of the tail of that. And we're going to add more. So one, two, three. I'm going to add one right here. And one where do I think? Oh, right there. So there is our card. The little rhinestones. Now we have to do the inside. We have a great beautiful envelope. I love what we created. Um, and let's do the same on the inside of this card. So I still have all my stamps. Oh, we really should have. It needs. It needs a white piece in there. That's just too dark and dreary. So should I cut an extra layer of this fresh freesia? Yes. And what do I have here? I have this little short squat piece of scratch. So we will use these pieces and cut ourselves. So let's see how big this is. This will tell me. So this is going to get to four. By it's going to be three and a half by four and three quarters. This is giving me what I need to cut my um, fresh freesia at. So it's at three and a half. So this needs to be at three and three quarters by five. That is how I'm getting um, my border on this. And you'll see how it's going to layer in there. Ta-da! And that is going to go in our card, but first we're going to create a water scene in here. And we're going to do that by bringing back all of our colors. So let me just start with the Bermuda Bay stamping some seaweed down here. And I'm done with that we're going to bring in oh well let's stamp our sentiment wishing you all the best and oh there's a happy birthday right here that would wishing you all the best happy birthday 
trying to think if there's anything else. Nope. We're just going to use it from this one. Happy birthday. I need another block. So let's hope we get it straight or I got to start all over again. I'm going to put happy birthday right there. Perfect. And we need a seahorse. We need starfish. We need some bubbles or spray. What else did we use? Gray granite is our seahorse. But we're going to do our coral. Coral. And coral. A nice little underwater arrangement. Oops. Starfish wanted to go off on their own. So we're going to bring some over there. Right there. And a hint. And a hint over there. And I just put my finger in it. What else do we have? The specific point for the bubbly spray stuff, which we know we like it stamped off. I'm going to bring it here, there. Stamp off here, there. Oh my goodness, is this a cute dang little card. Okay, I am so happy with this card. This is just, I love the whole entire thing. And it's flat, except for the rhinestones. Okay, so we need, that is not my cut piece. Now let's not mess it up. I'm going to move all my stamps. Do, 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 all my blocks over there. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm even going to put a few rhinestones on the inside of this card. Yes, I am. Because it is so sparkly, so dang cute. Okay, so there we go. But I'm going to do it at the very last minute after I get it in and I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Look at, oh, that just makes this card, it makes it bright happy definitely oh my goodness so in love with it okay hard to know that i'm basically giving it away huh <laughs> so we are gonna stick one where do i want them i don't want them in the obvious place one we are gonna do three on the inside two and I want one right down here. They're all in starfish. Oh my goodness. I love the inside. That would be a lovely birthday card just on the outside. Oh, we forgot our seahorse. It's going to make it even better. Okay, so we're going to put one there. And one right there. And I think we need a little bit more of one. And I don't want, I want him kind of off the page down here. Let me put this little scrap there. Because I probably should have done this. There. Oh, yes. Even better. Okay. I might have to just stamp. Some, I might just have to make me some cards with this on the front. Because that is just too cute. Okay. So this is my other, uh, what video number is this? Seven <laughs> alternative for the July 2020 paper pumpkin sending good thoughts and our gorgeous little uh, envelope with all along the whole bottom seafloor. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So um, this is my personal thing. Okay. I love this card. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, create this card and uh, give it a try if you have these same stamps on creating.
this wonderful inside for the outside of the card. I'm going to have to do that. All right. Um, would you give me a thumbs up? Help me uh, grow my channel and share my love of paper crafting with others. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I don't say that a whole lot or do that a whole lot. Um, because I know a lot of you are demonstrators or you have demonstrators. Um, if you do stay with your demonstrator, support them in their, um, their work. This is, uh, I am a demonstrator, but I do this because I love what I'm doing and I want to share that with you. So that's my biggest emphasis is just sharing what I create with, uh, all the other paper crafters out there. So have a great day, YouTube, and come visit me again in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.